She got the AI going crazy. Going brazy. He says, SZA. In 4K. Now this ain't no dream. This is your favorite fantasy. Y'all know what it is, man. R&B all day. Back here with Denzel the artist. R&B singer. Cinematographer. A lot of different things. Just an artist at the end of the day, man. Trying to make things better. Trying to build. Trying to get better. And trying to make whoever is watching this feel like they can get better. But anyway, y'all know what it is, man. Today, we're going to check out Scissors Snooze video. Just came out three days ago. Um, the album was crazy if you haven't listened to it already. It was nuts. It was dope. It was wavy. Like the cover. You know, she's sitting over the waves and stuff like that. So it was wavy. I get it. I get the metaphor. Scissors. All that to say. We going through the review today. Let's get it. R&B all day. Y'all know what it is. Let's get it popping. You see my Pro Tools up. You know what I'm saying? I got to record my vocals. Make, make it sound all good and crispy. Throw that reverb on there. You know what I'm saying? All dreamy. All elegant. Let me see if I can find a video. See my 1,000 screens pop up. Where you at, Snooze? Boom. Right there. Let's get it going, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Oh shit, bro! Nah, I got I gotta stop it, bro. She is funny, man. She got she got Justin Bieber in this mug. That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. I got I gotta look at him a couple more times if that dude show up again. Um, and then she got the dude from Beef. I don't know if you ever seen Beef, man. Beef is a hilarious show on Netflix. Just came out. I think it was produ produced by Steven Yeun and um Yoon. I hope I said that right. Uh, you know, Walking Dead, uh, Nope, um, dope actor, dope producer. Uh, but yeah, man, the Beef Show. And uh, his little brother, I think that's his little brother from Beef. Beefy. So yeah, man, let's see. Let's see what she's getting into with Beef Man. I'm oh, sorry, I keep stopping, man. But uh, yeah, the shot, the shots. Like I said, her music videos have been very um controlled and very well plotted out. It looks like as far as pre-production goes, on the film side of things, uh, I could definitely see a lot of dope shots, a lot of 35 millimeters, um, a lot of just different zoom techniques used already. And this is just like, what, 53, 53 seconds into the video. I know the rest of the video is about to get crazy. So um, shout out to Scissor for having such a great film team. Whoever produced this or whoever shot this, definitely dope cinematographer and um, dope producer slash director. Kudos to you, man, for real. Yeah. JB, man. That is definitely JB. Boy, vibing. What the fuck? She got the AI going crazy. Going brazy. He says, SZA. In 4K? You got a robot going crazy, bro. Why you do that to him, sis? Why you, why you got the robot going crazy? Like, I can understand JB. I can understand Beef. I can understand the other guy. He probably from something, too. But the robot? Why you do the robot like that? But nah, for real. Um, <laughs> I love the energy of the video. It's just so fun. I feel like the song is fun. In general, like you just dancing around with your with your with your girl, your significant other. Yeah, 
that was trash, but but um yeah, it's it's a really nice, fun vibe video and I'm loving it, man. The robot section is is kinda confusing to me, but it's definitely not surprising because I feel like a lot of her videos always got some type of weird element to it that just brings brings out whatever the theme is even more. So we can talk about that. Bob dance. Oh. Not the big bazookas to the robot. That robot gonna explode. Robot about to explode, dog. He got the snap back on. He looking fresh, though. He looking real fresh. They got him dripped out. That robot dripped out. Got some reds on him. Okay, what's this? What's this? Cinestock? Or it was shot in film, it looked like. 16 millimeter. This is nice though. I like I like the different rendition or just a cut to another song. It's dope. Yeah, that was we don't need to watch Wendy's. We don't need that. It's poison for you. But no, nah, I'm just playing. But the yams at the end was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna just keep it a hundred with y'all. Yams crazy. Um, yeah. But um, yeah. I definitely loved the video, man. It was definitely a feel good video. Even the tr second transition of the video, um, definitely stuck to that whole like, oh, I'm feeling good type of vibe and whatever element I'm in with this other person. Um, the cinematography on the second part of the video even was was very just retro reminiscent like maybe she's thinking of these old memories of this person you know what i'm saying but overall i think the themes of the video um they were just more so reminiscent you know um the song is called snooze in itself and it definitely had a very woozy feel when you listen to the instrumentals and translating to the video is a very woozy feeling video me being an artist myself um I can I can definitely f relate to this song just because of the simple fact when I write songs about uh, love or like reminiscing acts, um, it's kind of like this. It kind of I kind of see this in my vision, like just bouncing from from whatever relationship that I've been in in the past. Um, so it's, it's 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 a very reminiscent feeling, and I feel like she definitely didn't encapsulate that within this video and she just had a lot of fun with just like people that she knew it seemed like uh whether that be jb or the dude from b for the other guy uh and even the guy at the end is she just seemed like she wanted to have fun throughout this music video showcasing how much fun you can have in a relationship just in general just in being with people it might not even be with uh your lover or significant other it might just be with friends but uh yeah she encapsulated that very well throughout throughout this video i love the colors throughout the video super crazy i kind of want to go back and just watch it again just to analyze it from a lighting standpoint but i'll do that later you know get a little nerdy out here but um yeah well shot video well directed music is always great from SZA. i'm looking forward to more of her visuals actually um so yeah man that's pretty much all i got uh the yams was crazy uh <laughs>
<laughs> the yams was crazy. Y'all know them yams was crazy. Like, I don't even know why she had to do that at the end. She talked about pay attention to me and then snatching her whole her whole essence and her body off. Like, that's crazy, man. But, um, of course, everybody was paying attention. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope, uh, of course, everybody was paying attention. But, um, hope y'all was digging the video. Let me know what y'all think below, man, what y'all thought about the video. Um, whether it be if you saw something from a film standpoint or if you, from a musical standpoint rel relative to the video, do you feel like the visual helped? push the music that you listen to did you feel like it it made you relate more to SZA or more to the song I'm curious so let me know below let me know if SZA had the crazy yams below let me know if they wasn't yamming let me know if it was too much let me know if she did whatever just let me know but uh, let me know what kind of R&B you listening to man and let me know uh if you want me to review something else so don't forget to like comment and subscribe once again, this is Denzel, the artist. We in here, R&B all day, baby. I'll see y'all next time. For the new loaded nacho cheeseburger. This burger's my inspiration. This Wendy's, I just hope this Wendy's crazy, oh, you bro. have inspired us. Wendy's. I'm not eating at Wendy's, bro. Wendy's done ruined my stomach like five times, bro. I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not... I'm not doing Wendy's, bro. All right, I'm out, y'all.